Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how to render 360 images using 3D Max and V-Ray. There are six steps you need to follow in rendering 360 images. First, you need to prepare the render output size. To do this, press F10 or go to Rendering in the menu bar. Choose Render Setup. Go to Output Size section. In 360 Render, ratio of width and height should be 2 is to 1. So, image aspect must be 2. It's also mentioned here. You can choose the different output size. The higher the output size, the better the resolution. In this test render, we'll set the resolution 2000 into 1000 pixels. We'll set width 2000 and height 1000. You can set manually or you can also set image aspect into 2 and lock the key. If you lock it, the value will change automatically. Secondly, create models for everything in the room, as this is a 360 image rendering. Thirdly, set camera position. It should be in the center of the room. Let's have a look at it from top view. Here is the camera. Here is the target. In 360 rendering, target is not very important. So, you can untick the targeted in camera setting. By doing this, you can move the camera freely without paying attention to target. Now, set the camera in the center of the room. Next, height of the camera. It's better to check the height of the camera from the front view or left view. Anyway, looking at from eye level is the most important. Now, select the camera. Then, right-click on Move To icon in two bars, and this box will appear. Set Z-axis into 1200, as this room is not very high. In the room with high ceiling, you can set Z-axis into 1500. Now, we've done with the camera position and height. If we click See, you can now see the camera view. Next, you need to off Enable Camera Clipping. Let's do that. Select Camera. In Modify panel, go to Miscellaneous. Under this, in Clipping Planes, Enable Clipping must be unticked. If it's on, some parts of image which are hidden behind the wall cannot be seen in 360 image. So, step 1 to 5 is for preparing camera in 360 rendering. As the last step, we will change setting for 360 rendering. Go to Rendering in menu bar. Choose Render Setup. In Render Setup panel, choose V-Ray. Then, choose Camera. Next, set camera type into spherical. 
then tick override FOV. Here, FOV means field of vision into 360. Now we've done all the steps. So we can start rendering by using F9. In rendering stage, you can see the image in only panoramic view. If you use lots of materials and objects, rendering will take more time. Here in this test render, we've set resolution as 2000 into 1000 pixels. It will be faster. For higher resolution image, it will take more time. Now we've done with 360 render. Let's save the file. Now, let's open the file we've rendered. So, how do we preview our 360 image? There are lots of softwares for 360 preview. But we can also check the preview in 3D Max without using any other softwares. So, in 3D Max, go to Utility Panel, click More, Choose Panorama Exporter. Here, it has two parts, Render and Viewer. Now, let's choose Viewer. Go to File, then open the file we've rendered. Here, as this is 360 view, it's very important to create all the models in details, as all can be seen from every perspective. Also, if render output was not set to is to 1, there can be some problems in ceiling part. Now we'll be uploading our 360 image on Facebook. We cannot upload it simply. We need to change it into the format Facebook recognizes. So I use EXIF Fixer software. Open EXE file. Then choose the file you want to change as 360 image. and then click meter data you don't need to save the file after clicking meter data now exist from exe file now let's upload it on facebook tada here is the 360 image but the image is a bit large as the resolution is only 2000 into 1000 pixels. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later. Bye bye.